Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Now if you like really easy and straightforward Canva tutorials, then make sure to subscribe to stay updated from any new videos. In this video, I will show you how you can easily make your own Pinterest pins in Canva. So we start on the home page and we are going to create a new design. So click here and then you are going to type in Pinterest pin. And here you can see all the different options. Now, uh, Pinterest recommends this dimension. So 1000 um, by 1500 pixels. So we are going to select this one. And then here we have our new design to create Pinterest pins. Now you can start by using some templates. So you can see uh, here all the results. You can um, search for any templates um, in, in, that you have in mind. So as you can see, there are a lot of beautiful uh, templates available. You can always change colors, change the font and make it your own. But today I am going to create uh, some Pinterest pins from scratch. So I am going to start by uploading some pictures. I'm going here with uploads and then I am going to upload the files that I need for my design. Now, as you can see, Canva is loading them up. Now I'm going to make some Pinterest pins um, to uh, promote a product that I have made for my Etsy store. And I want to make some uh, different pins to put on my Pinterest board. So now that I have uploaded my designs, first, the first one I'm going to start by looking for a marble background. So I'm going to elements and then I'm going to type in marble background and then i'm going to the graphics and see which one that i like now i like this one so i'm going to click on it i'm going to make it a little bit larger so that it fits the page like this now you can also change the transparency i'm going to make it a little bit lighter like this Okay, and then I'm going to my uploads again and I'm going to select this one. So I'm going to click on it. This is the um, printable that I have created. Now I want to put uh, a nice border around it so that it looks like a page that uh, lies on the, on the table or, um, or anywhere else. So I'm going to select the page. I'm going to click on edit image. And then I'm going to um, put on some sh shadows. So I'm going to click here on shadows. If you don't see it here, then you can always scroll down uh, here and here you can see it. So I'm going to use the glow. So I'm going to click on it and then just wait a little bit. And then as you can see, uh, Canva is uh, putting on a border. It looks like a little glow. So this creates the effect that I want. Now, next, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and then I am going to put in some text. So I'm going to here on my left and click on text and then I'm going to add a heading. So click on it. You can drag it around and I'm going to change it to a here in pixels. Now I'm going to change the font so that it matches more with my brand. Right this and then I'm going to make a color behind the uh, text and I'm going to use um, a, a shape so I'm going to uh, select elements I'm going to select this shape and then I'm going to set it here make it a little bit more fitting like this and then I'm going to change the color of it so that it matches with my picture. Uh, for this one, I'm going to change a uh, change it to a pink color. Now I'm going to uh, change the transparency a little bit 
so that it's a little bit softer, maybe like this, okay. And then I'm going to make this a little bit larger again, like this. And I'm going to add uh, some other text be, um, under the picture. So like this. I'm going to make it a little bit more fitting like this and I'm going to uh, change the font as well. Now I'm going to uh, select this font. This one I have uh, bought it on Creative Fabrica um, and I so I have the commercial license to it. Now, if you don't know how you can uh, upload your own font in Canva, I also have another tutorial about this that I will link in, this, in the description box below. So I'm going to change it to this. I'm going to see that it's a little bit centered. And this is done. So I have created my first Pinterest pin. Now I'm going to make my second pin. So click on add page and then you can see that there is a new page here. Now for this one, I will use a photo mockup that I have made in Canva. Uh, so I'm going to my uploads and this is the mockup that I have made. Now I also made a tutorial about mockups in Canva. I will also link it uh, down below for you guys. So I have select this one. And then I'm going to drag it a little bit around so that it fits with how I want it to look. So I'm going to leave it like this. And then I'm going to fill up this um, white border with a color. So I'm going again to elements and I'm going to select this one again. Like this. And then I'm going to change the color for this one, like uh, more a purple color and also change the transparency a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to add the text. In here. And then I'm going to change the font again to this. And this pin is also ready. So now I have created two Pinterest pins to use on my Pinterest to promote my Etsy store. And as you can see, it was really easy and quick to make these. So you can also always start by um, some templates that Canva offers and um, uh, change the colors and the fonts. Or you can just start by creating uh, your own Pinterest pins like I have did as like I did in this tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, then please let me know. If you liked it, then please give this video a like and make sure to follow my page if you like more easy and straightforward um, Canva tutorials. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you, bye bye.